Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 73 with the next episode of Imperialism. Um, we're playing at. What am I playing at? Centurion. Load the game. Okay, it's been a while here. Uh, let's take a look at the diplomacy screen just to see the general overview of what's happening, what's going on. And it looks like. Um, where's our relations? Opposing alliances with Or Dune and Zim. Uh, we've got some trade consulates here. We are the favorite trading nation of at least two of them. Ooh, Twelfth uh, does not like us because we declared war on this country, but we expanded Hershen. Um, we, I guess, regionally. Certain uh, minor nations are sort of aligned with each other, and if you declare war on one, it'll have a regional impact. Um, but this regional impact isn't too devastating. Pentagon does not like us for that, apparently. But we've got decent relations with these two great powers. If I can try to get ah, some sort of alliance going. Chem doesn't have any alliances at all. So, I wonder if I could give subsidies to great powers. Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and do that. And boost their popularity of us up popular opinion of us up uh, as far as the conquest uh, we're gonna wait till the reinforcements arrive won't have the infantry I guess that's the grenadiers and then we'll move them into um, this province here and then we'll close our close the noose on the capital city uh, so I guess that's good that's everything right uh, we're not offering we're offering only one furniture here Got a decent amount of money. We've got some free labor. What can I do with this labor? Not much. We need to expand that. We need to expand that. We need iron for sure. We're really short on iron. Lumber mill. We need more resources and we need more industrial expansion. Oh, wow, those definitely need to expand. And so does the textile mill. Okay, can I just get food? Maybe we get one food at least. We're also selling some of our coal and our horses. First time I've ever sold coal on the market. All right, let's see what happens. What about infrastructure-wise? Railroad being built out of there. We've got iron access. We need to get access to that iron immediately. Technologies are available. Rancher, improved wool and livestock farms. That's it for now. Seed drill, cotton gin. Clipper ships. This is one of the originals that you start with. And then we're just waiting on, and then that's the only new one. But I'm not going to make any ranchers right now, so we're not going to buy that. So we'll enter. Okay, cotton from Manix. This is one of our biggest, one of our favorite trading parts. We want to occupy. Ooh, I can't take all the trade. Let's get at least two extra. Definitely want the iron. Alright, they are really our big trading partner there that turn. Too cold to Devron. One furniture to Kessel. Ah, nice! We've got our alliance with Zim. Which is one that we really didn't want <laughs> because we wanted to invade Zim. Alright, so I guess that's that. Um, I think I want to build it there because I don't want to take those horses. If I build it there, I'll have access to more desert. There we go. Alright, we've got the troops. Let's go ahead and take this province. And we're prospecting down there. A lot of resources here. we got to build like a port. A port there. i got to get access over here because i got to get on this side of the mountains. Interesting. That could be a good location. That's a good location, and that's a good location. Those are two good locations, but we won't be able to access each other because of the mountain. Unless um, square set timbering has an impact, allows miners to improve coal, iron, and gold, and gem mines to level two. That's pretty good. We're going to want that soon, probably. As for right now, we've got access to a lot more coal, but we don't have the transport capacity. We need more transport capacity. Excess for meat, 
Not for fruit, and yes for grain. Industries. The great power of chem has a lumber industry that doubles our capacity. Not good. We need more. We need greater capacity. All right, we got four lumber. We've got good lumber. We're building up a lumber stockpile. We need more iron. I might as well grab paper because we got a lot of lumber. Extra lumber. We've got extra furniture. I don't need more people. I don't need more laborers. We just need more steel so we can expand now. We can expand now. What do we want to expand first? Probably this, right? Boom. Go ahead and expand that clothing industry. We gotta expand this. Yikes. Okay. Fabrics? Can I cancel that? <laughs> yes. Alright. So, we can actually build uh, a, more, a bigger merchant marine with this. What's our merchant marine looking like? 12 capacities. Not bad. I have no guns, so we can't build any warships. A clipper ship. Uh, two more lumber, and I'll have the enough for a clipper ship. More paper. So let's cancel that. Make more lumber. That's all we can do for now. More food. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that for a while. An alliance with Zim and Devron looks better, right? Does Devron have any allies? No, they don't. Might as well go for an alliance with Devron. I don't know. I want to save up more money. Industry is only fair. Ah, oh, man, I really gotta expand my industry. What's the relationship with the minor powers? Nothing is really budged here. Still their favorite trading partner. Not theirs. Okay. Kessel, bye. Bye. Alright, they got one of the big guns. We're just gonna move our infantry. A little bit closer. All right, time to move in. Oh, wow, they got completely wiped out. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. In range, oh, they got shot up pretty good. But now we can move in there and take out. Damn. Oh, we lost our heavy infantry. Ah, we took another loss. I think I forgot to kill that heavy infantry, the heavy artillery, didn't I? Oh, what a stupid jerk I am. I am not playing good today, because <laughs> I am in the middle of moving. I think I mentioned this in my, uh... Oh, GPS 4. I can't believe I did that. That was so stupid. Many more troops. I need guns. You're making guns. Oh, I am an idiot. What an idiot. Huge idiot. Huge. This is a disaster. Ah. I have nothing to sell. Great. Great job, Centaurian. You really screwed that one up. Oh my god, I'm not even selling anything. Give me the iron, I need the iron. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. 
Wait, I need a artillery, don't I? I don't even have that. I lost one of those. Oh my god, this is the worst thing that could possibly have happened. What time is it? I really have to stop playing these games. Mentally, I am out of it. And I'm not making the right decisions. We're going to sell these. Okay. Buy the cotton. Good. Alright, 5,000. We got plenty of money here. Only got one gun. Come on, man. A lot of minerals down there. So I really screwed up. I'll go over what I did wrong. Um, I definitely should have made sure I eliminated that heavy artillery because that's what really screwed me up on the assault. Um, I forgot to do that. I just reduced their number, their level to uh, a retreat level instead of completely wiping them out. If I had completely wiped them out, would have had a better shot, uh, or at least I would have gotten something done. Instead of just feeding this uh, butcher's bill that we're sending our guys into. And we definitely lost a lot of guys. So that was a big disaster on my part. And I hope Zim doesn't move in ahead of us here now. Kind of concerned about that. Uh, I am really short on iron. That's the biggest problem. So I'm going to try to build a rail line at least to this iron deposit here. And try to bring in the cash that way. I guess I can have. Oh, no, I, don't, I haven't invested in it yet, so. That's where we're at. More iron, good. More iron, the better. Alright, so here was the first vote on the Council of Governors. Uh, to actually win this game, you need the majority. And it looks like uh, not everyone has to vote, but every province has a vote. And uh, the green flags were for Ordrun. And the per orange flags are for Devron. Your colonies typically always vote for you. Your territories always vote for you. And then it's kind of up in the air who's going to vote for you. It depends. Uh, right now, I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about proving my, fixing my situation. Which, like I said before, is a disaster. We need a lot more guns. We need much more steel. Okay, we at least get two more steel next round. And I can put together one gun right now. So let's go ahead and grab these guys are a lot cheaper. At least one of those guys. I'll get another one of those. We'll sell one furniture. To continue to make profit. And I want to finish off this war before anyone else comes in and grabs that territory, so here we go. We're not selling anything. One reg regular, one regiment of regular troops. And here we go, up this way. Move these troops. Advance those troops. Textile mill. We need more steel, and we need more guns. <sighs> Sell that. Okay. Almost in range to build a depot up here, which would give us access to the iron. So we're saving up for that for now. Another steel. I'm going to wait one turn. No, I'm not going to wait one turn. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these guys. That'll give us three. 
I want to get like at least four, I think, regular infantry. We have no steel being produced, no iron, no access to iron. That is a disaster. Get another one of those guys. Okay, Deneb looks like it's moved to be favorable towards us now. We sold a lot of stuff there. Very good. We're making profits. People are growing taller. We're going to go ahead and build this rail line, extend it north. That will be where the railroad depot will be. Saving up my cash so I can uh, buy some troops, but I need arms. Can't get arms anywhere. Would I be willing to buy arms on the open market? Better than timber, I guess. I don't know, we could use timber. Well, let's see if we can. Oh, wow, they're really expensive. I'm gonna try to bid on it. I've never bid, bid on arms before, that's something new. But our relations with Great Power seem to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and make some alliances here. See which one. Then we can choose which one we want to break, I guess. Advance the third regiment. We need one more regiment of foot, probably, and some artillery. But we have no iron right now. We need three arms to get to those military goals before nobody wanted to sell us arms. Alliance building flounders. Tons of gold in these hills. This is crazy. Lots of resources. All right, here we go. Access. That's only that's gonna take nine months, which is three turns. Way too long. Let's grab this one. And then next turn we'll be able to up the iron production. And we'll be looking pretty good at that point. Right now, sit tight. Still no guns. But our industries are pumping out pretty good numbers other than the steel industry. A lot of consistency here. I'm gonna sell two shirts this round. We'll wait on the lumber or on the furniture. And now Kessel iron, good square foot, square, whatever. What's it called? Square set timbering. Okay. Now, you extend your iron mine production, and we'll be able to really get iron flowing in here now. That will definitely solve our problems. A lot of stuff to be sold here on the open market. Low price for furniture, so I'm going to keep that low. We'll continue to sell two cloth, clothing. I'm bidding on guns still, but I haven't gotten any sellers. Labor supply. Increased labor supply. We have a labor supply. That's huge. Those advice things just compare you to other countries so you don't really know exactly what they mean we're gonna be getting iron coming in really soon in the meantime let's just get a bunch of food to back us up and let's see how my other those are the two that we're really concentrating on no one seems to be bidding on manix but Devron is going after Kessel. Those are my two colonies that I really want. You need colonies not only for the resources, but for the markets. Uh, later on in the game, when colonies are sort of running short, uh, you need some place to sell your goods, so you need those colonial markets. Okay. Finally building another gun. We need one more after that, or at least two more probably after that. We have a lot of clothing and a lot of furniture. Two more workers. Of course this is going to expand the need for food. So we are going to have to expand our internal transport, but we definitely need more steel before we do that. Okay. Sold a lot that time. Second went onto the second page. 9,000. New invention, the spinning jenny. 
I think we've looked up all the different areas that we can prospect for now. So let's move our prospector back to the capital. All right, we now have access. We now have access to... Oh, come on. Really? That's my fault because this guy's building the mine. Ah, what an idiot I am. Or is that not open? Oh, you know what? I think I need another railroad, railroad depot down here to open it. Ah. Bummer. Spinning Jenny requires feed grasser. That'll get the uh, plantation levels up to level two. Okay, we're not there yet. We still got some time. Made some good sales last round. I need iron. You know what else I could bid on? Maybe steel. Maybe I can buy steel. Forget the bid on the guns. It's bid on steel. Somebody's gonna sell steel for sure. Okay. No, no steel that turn. You stay put for now. You get that rail depot. Okay. I'm not going to spend any more money for now. We'll just sit tight. Actually, get the gold. Since we have access to that. Another gun on the way. We'll be able to get the cannon next turn. If we wait, so we will wait. I don't think I can make anything else though, so I got a lot of idle labor. Hey, you know what I could do? Well, yeah, one piece of paper would do something. Let's do that. Okay. Ah, huge buy. That's huge. Four steel. That was a big, huge purchase. Forget about it. Now we're great. Now we're looking really good. Okay. We got the guns. But I want to fix that labor situation. Alright, so we gotta expand something, right? What were we. I need. Uh, I'm gonna need this. I definitely need more access. To bring in that iron as much iron as possible and then we'll take one guy and make him a regular soldier and then next turn we'll have enough for the cannon and that will be that there's excess lumber so we're gonna switch one of those to paper so we can uh, make one of these untrained workers make both of those untrained workers trained workers and increase our labor supply without increasing our demand for food big sa eh. big sales hopefully and yes we are improving relations with Manix if I'm saying that right um, once they get the green should be ready to colonize Kessel is still status quo and we are their favorite trading partner so we're looking better I can build cotton mine cotton fields there and that will end that turn more steel ooh yes I'm gonna invest big time in my industry by buying all this steel okay the steel trade importing all that steel from uh, Zim is turning the tide for sure now we've got tons of room. Grain. Fruit. We need more fruit. Are we short on any of these? Short on grain. Let's get some grain. Until iron becomes available. Unbelievable. Okay, so now we have... Now we're looking a lot better, I think. Now we're ready to take that capital. No, not the capital. The province next to the capital. But I should probably expand more. Internal capacity? Yes, I think so. A little bit more internal capacity. And then we'll have enough resources to make the steel 
that and the lumber that'll be needed. Speaking of which, let's switch this back to lumber. Which will be needed to dominate the world. To expand our industries. To dominate the world. We've got two papers, so... Let's advance those guys. Sit tight. Make those sales. Looks good. Everything right now is looking good now. I'm looking a lot better than I thought I was. Ugh, I'm not bringing in any trade. No major wars yet. There's usually not any like major wars yet. And I'm going to actually put an end to the episode here because we're around 25 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, see you later.